Hey y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So we've got a new week, we've got a new month and this month, the 1st of March, the first week of March is always Read Across America Week to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday and all of the literary works that he created for children to enjoy. So we're going to get started with one of my favorite and one of the classic Dr. Seuss books this morning and I got my friends with me, thing one and thing two. I got my hat on, and we're gonna be reading The Cat in the Hat. Do you remember The Cat in the Hat? I bet you do, but if you don't, you're in for a treat. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started with The Cat in the Hat. All right, let me scoot a little closer. So, the sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all oh, that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we two, and I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. Do you do nothing at all? Do you do nothing at all in the house sometimes? Just bored, bored, bored. So all we could do was to sit, 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 and we did not like it, not one little bit. So there they are sitting. <gasps> bump, and then something went bump. How oh, that bump made us jump. They jumped out their seats. Even the fish got scared. We looked, then we saw him step on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. Yeah, in the hat, so there's always something fun to do. I knew some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. You think mother will mind? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. They don't know what to say. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell the cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here, he should not be about, he should not be here when your mother is out. The fish said, no, no, no. Hmm, what do you think? Should they let the cat in the house come in the house and play? Or should they listen to the fish say, no strangers? Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a fish. <gasps> oh. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. So that fish is up there on that umbrella. You don't think he wants to be up there, do you? I don't think so. Have no fear, said the cat in the hat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with the book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. What more can that cat do? My goodness. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books and I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. What all can that cat do? My goodness, he's balancing and juggling and that poor fish is way up there in the umbrella. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Now it's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. What more can that cat in the hat do, do you think? 
That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall just like that. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Perfect timing, right? Everything's falling down. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. That poor fish is in a little teapot. That's not where he belongs. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at this. You sank our toy ship. Sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bit our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. So that fish is scolding that cat. Said, Look at all this mess you made. But I, I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, so, so. I will show you another good game that I know. So that cat in the hat does not want to go away. And then he ran out and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a very big box. A big red wood box, it was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. What's that cat from cloth box? Then he got up on top with a tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. Hmm, what two things are going to pop out of the box? <laughs> I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? There they are, run into the kids. And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Mr. Fish is still not happy with all the strangers in the house. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Do you think those things are super tame and calm? Now here's a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. In the house? No, no, not in the house of the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. That fish is not liking it. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, bump, thump. Down the wall in the hall. Knocking things over. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down on the string of one kite. We saw mother's new gown, her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Oh no, they're making a big old mess and got their mom's new dress. Goodness. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. And Mother could see this. Oh, what would she say? Oh no, Mother would not like that, would she? I don't think so. Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she would not like it to find us this way. Oh my goodness. There's mother's feet. Fish is, is freaking out. And there's the kids. Uh-oh. So do something fast.
lass of the fish, do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. You gotta get rid of them, they're making the mess. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Is he going to catch thing one and thing two? Let's find out. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game? Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. No, they did not like the game because they made a mess. Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. Look at that mess. You think they can pick it all up? Super fast. And then... Who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess of the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. So the cat said he always picks up his playthings. Good cat, right? Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away and he said, that is that. And then he was gone with a tip of his hat. He got everything all straightened up with his little car thing. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should they tell their mother what happened? Should we tell her about it now? What should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? What would you do? Think on that. The end. So I hope you enjoyed Cat in the Hat and one of my favorite classic Dr. Seuss books. Thank you for tuning in. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.